Uh, all right, now we have that big moment for you. Jared Lee, Pia Toscano. How Hi. you doing, Pia? Hello. So nice to home? meet okay. you. Yeah, nice. you have to share the mic. I, I apologize <laughs> nice for that. Nice to meet you. Pia nice. Toscano. Uh, Pia. Hold the yeah. mic. Uh, <laughs> Jared Lee. Uh, now, I was lucky to talk to you guys on the phone a, yes. uh, a couple weeks ago. Yes. And you guys have a really cool relationship <laughs> where, you know, you're, you're supporting each other. You're yeah. doing this collaborative thing. Yeah. It's called the Duo Project. Can you explain to the viewers a little bit more about that? Yes, Jared, you want to explain? Oh, uh, <laughs> not, not the mic. I'm going to oh. hand it over to Mike. Uh, yeah. Basically, <laughs> um, so P and I have known each other a long time, um, nine years yeah. now, I think. Not in and New York. we met in New York. We were both doing solo projects. Um, and I started, you know, doing mine out in California, and then she came out to California for the show. Right. And then basically, I'm giving you the fast forward version. That's so fine. Yeah. <laughs> keeping it real. And uh, <laughs> basically, we decided recently, about a year ago, to start collaborating on some stuff. And we yeah. started performing a little bit in Los Angeles. And we just really, I think, were inspired by a new creative you know, process yeah. uh, in music. And um, people seem to be reacting positively to what we're doing. So we now have an EP coming out in June that we're really excited about. And it's, we're halfway done. And yes. we're doing some more concerts. So yeah, like tonight. Like, like tonight here yeah. in uh, Lansing Community College at Dart Auditorium. Uh, Pia, you get a chance to you know, show off. <laughs> yeah, take, take the mic away. Uh, you, get, you get to, though, Perform with this talented yeah, singer songwriter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> how, how does that work? Is, how is it different from your solo work? Oh man, it's totally different. It's really cool to have uh, someone up there with me who I'm so comfortable with that I've known for such a long time. There's like a trust there. Yeah. So it makes it a lot easier for me. Mm -hmm. I'm more in my comfort zone. It's just a totally different vibe. And, you know, he'll do some songs from his EP and I'll do some songs like, you know, that I've done on Idol and stuff like that. And we just kind of infuse that in our show as well. And it's just really cool to have that bond and have that comfort there. So when folks come out to see it tonight, it's, it's definitely, you're on the stage, both of you together the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he'll do like uh, two or three songs of his own, and, and I'll do the same. And then we do our, um, our project and our songs together. That, that's great. Yeah. Hey, Jared, I was going to ask you, yes. um, as, as a songwriter, because you've written for so many different artists, uh, and of course, the, the current single is with, is that with Jason Derulo? Uh, or is that he, yeah, I have, a, I have a song on his album right yeah. now um, called Vertigo. Yeah. It's a duet he did with uh, Jordan Sparks. Yeah, so, that sounds yeah. fantastic. Thank it, you. Is, is it tough to write for other artists, or does it just kind of, does it just, they look at, an artist asks for a song? Um, I, re I really enjoy collaborating and, and writing for other projects. You don't always know going into it who that song may end up with. Right. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes you'll write with an artist and it'll, you know, before their project or whatnot, but but other times, you know, I just work on writing good songs and then hope that they'll find their way to somebody that wants to work on them. You know. Now you guys were telling me too when I talked to you on the phone that you're still playing your own solo careers as well, right? Yeah, kind of I mean, <laughs> take this. Yeah. Um, well, basically, right now, duo is uh, what we are called. We're a duo, and that's. You know, our priority right now is creating this EP, making it, yeah. you know, the best product that, you know, we could create. And, uh, you know, in the future, that, you know, our solo careers could be, you know, down the line. You know, it's like something we still work on, but right. it's yeah. just like duo is the project right now. I think it's like, we, you know, both of us have aspirations and goals, you know in the grand scheme of things yeah. what we want to do and, and we we love performing by ourselves we love performing together so we're kind of not limiting ourselves with what this project might be or, or creating any big expectations for it we're just enjoying it we're proud of it we think people are really going to like it and and we'll see where it takes us yeah. i think that's great because it's it's fan i've heard several of the songs and oh, you know you'll you. be performing them uh, tonight here in Lansing at Lansing Community College Dart Auditorium. Tickets are still available if you want to go. Check them out. It is lcc.edu. You'll find all the information or mlive.com and we'll have that story and we'll have this video up a little later uh, today as well. Uh, do you mind, P, if I ask you about American Idol? You probably get tired sure, of the no. American Idol question. It's part of my life. <laughs> obviously, obviously, Shelby, uh, you heard Shelby a little yeah, bit talk about her experience. She made it very far. She made it very far, almost yeah. there. You heard about Taylor Taylor yeah, and her auditioning. Um, you can probably relate to what they oh, were doing. Oh, totally. I, I auditioned five times before I actually, you know, became a finalist on the show. Uh, you know, 
uh, very much like Taylor, I, I didn't make it very far, like, in the beginning. But that's far, because people don't know right. how many preliminary rounds there are. Probably shouldn't be saying this, but uh, <laughs> I think it's okay. Knows now. You know, before you actually get to the judges. Right. And then, um, you know, it's such a difficult process. Yeah. I mean, the competition is is just crazy and i feel like some of the best talent leaves in hollywood yeah. it's crazy to me but um you know it was, it was a wonderful experience for me it was an incredible platform a very great an amazing relationship with idol and they've been so good and supportive to me so i mean i just it's one of those things you just got to keep trying i feel like the timing is 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 a lot to do with it, it as well timing yeah. and just at the whim of whatever happens yeah. at that time Hey, uh, Jared, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Did you scream just as loud as I did and a lot of Pia Toscano fans when she got kicked off the show? Uh, Season 10? I was, right. yeah. There were a lot of tears. Um, no, I, I, I was very surprised, you know. I think, I think all a lot of people were. Shocked. were. But, yeah. but I think, you know, I think Pia has a lot in store for, for the world with her music. And, um, you know, things happen for a reason. They so yeah. it, was, it was a great experience for her, I think. And the world got a taste of, of what she's capable of. So. Exactly. Well, we have a couple of questions on Twitter, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, the goal is to see. Uh, Kenny. Kenny Poo. I love Sir, Kenny. Sir Kenny Poo. <laughs> uh, let's see. He says, ask well, they whether do. they say soda or pop. Kenny, you know I say soda. I don't say pop. I say, I say soda as well. I mean, uh, we're, East <laughs> we're East Coasters. Yeah, Maybe I have to change it up, though. In Michigan, we say pop. Say pop. Really? Yeah, we're pop. We're pop. All right, well, now I'm just going to change pop it up. pop refer to every soda yeah. and every flavor? Yeah, I need a pop. You just don't hit me. Really? Yeah. It sounds cooler. So, so, okay, got it. All right. Pop. I, soda. <laughs> I actually don't drink a lot of pop. I would refer to the brand. I'd be like, I would love a Coca-Cola right now. Like, the, yeah, a lot of people say Coke. Yeah. I'll have a Coke, okay. but that's generic, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, uh, Jared, uh, yes. what about Pia? This is from uh, Christina. <laughs> I still be me. What about Pia inspires you the most? Wow, Christina, dig it, digging in. <laughs> I always say that he inspires me, but I never hear the, you know. The real story. All right, um, let's see. I think... You know, it's it's just great to, for me. I love working with people with a great work ethic, yeah. and Pia is very hardworking. She's very committed. She's um, on time. She's focused. She's she's on top of it. So, I think for someone like me, that's I find myself also to be that way. Um, it's inspiring to to have someone that approaches their work the same way. Yeah. Plus, she's got a really nice voice. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. All right, Pia, <laughs> oh. what about Jared inspires you the most? Wow. Here we go. Oh. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Can you tell me about his impersonations? Or, oh, uh, man. <laughs> He's the there. best. Well, Jared... <laughs> You know, from a very young age, I've always kind of looked up to him, and, yeah. you know, he's inspired me. I'm, like, one of his biggest fans when it comes to his writing. Yeah. And just, you know, I've been to his shows, like, for his EP, Falling Through Holes, which is on iTunes. Um, like that, you know, <laughs> Well, I just was in awe. He's such an incredible performer. He's a hard worker. He's such a perfectionist, but in such an incredible way, like... Every time I hear a Jared song, I know it's going to be amazing. And he's inspired me to become better in, in every way. And I think he has. He's really pulled me out of my shell a lot. And uh, he's been great to me and kind of taken me under his wing. And I think we have some great music. And that's, uh, he's very hands-on with everything. So I think uh, that's taught me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, you know, continued success to both of you. Thank you so much. You know, good much. luck with, uh, with the you. duo uh, project. Uh, in June, you think? May, June, it'll come out? Yeah, we're that's what we're June, hoping yeah. for. Yeah, we're yeah. about halfway down. Yeah. Right. Good luck with the show tonight. Thank you. Can't wait to hear Taylor Taylor perform. I know, I can't wait. And maybe we can get Shelby to, to yes. perform for you before she leaves. She's adorable. She, she, and she's a great <laughs> singer, too. I'm sure. Uh, so have fun. And I know Thank last time you were in Michigan, you were here last year, Yes, Jared, I was here last April. And we had uh, colder weather. Today, we got a balmy 40 Today degrees for you. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Sunny it and nice. uh, yeah. it's nice here. The snow looks like kind of diamonds. Refreshing. It well, does. We're, we're like from the cold, you know. I'm yeah. from Boston. She's from New York, so yeah. we're used to this. So we just get spoiled. Now. You get spoiled yeah. on in LA. So yeah. hey, thanks again for thanks joining so the show. Much. We appreciate it. Uh, folks, again, go to, to uh, lcc.edu or mlive.com for all the information. Show 7:30 tonight, Dart Auditorium, Lansing Community College. Be there, or you're going to miss these incredible performers. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks again for Thank joining the show. Thank you so much.